Welcome to the iMac online video series. This video is Learning Arresti. The key concepts that we will explore today are line symbology, roll symbology, snap rolls, spins, and k-factor calculation. A sequence is a series of figures drawn and numbered so the pilot can fly each figure in the correct order. This is an example of an individual figure. Each figure begins with a solid dot with the figure number just above the beginning of the figure. The aircraft will follow the figure as drawn. The end of the figure is notated by a small perpendicular line. The sequence begins with figure 1. In addition, the first figure will also have a semicircle placed around the solid dot. At the end of the sequence, an additional longer line will be drawn. Positive or upright flight is indicated by a solid line. Figure 1, shown here, will be a horizontal line flown upright. Figure 2 begins wings level horizontal flight, pulls to a 45 up line, and ends wings level horizontal flight. Figure 3 begins wings level horizontal flight, pulls to a vertical up line, and then when pushed to wings level horizontal flight. Negative or inverted flight is drawn with a dashed line. When color printing is available, the dashed lines will be drawn red. With black and white printing, the negative lines will be drawn as black dashed lines. Figure 4 is a wings level horizontal inverted flight. Figure 5 begins wings level inverted, pulls to an inverted 45 down line, and ends wings level horizontal inverted flight. Figure 6 begins wings level horizontal inverted, pushes to a vertical up line, pulls to wings level horizontal inverted flight. In figure 1, the plane would begin wings level horizontal upright flight. The pilot would push to a vertical down line. Negative G's shown with a dashed line. Imagine sitting in the aircraft as it pushed to a vertical down line. You would have the sensation of being lifted out of the seat. This is a negative G flight and is drawn with dashed lines. The pull to upright is shown as a solid line, indicating positive or upright flight. This figure begins wings level horizontal flight. Pull to an upline, shown as a solid line. The pilot would be pushed down into the seat and would feel the sensation of positive G's. Push to an exit upright is shown here as a solid line. Let's continue with roll symbology. A full 360 aileron roll is indicated by a cupped arrow drawn symmetrically across the line. The direction of flight will always be into the cup of the arrow. It's the pilot's option to fly this roll either left or right. Half or 180 degree aileron rolls are drawn as an arrow beginning at the line. Note that the attitude of the plane would change from positive to negative or negative to positive as shown in figure 4. Linked or continuous rolls. The arrows of the linked rolls will be connected by a line. Figure 1 is two continuous aileron rolls. Figure 2 is one and one half continuous rolls. Note that the flight changed from positive to negative. Unlinked similar rolls will always be in the opposite direction. Figure 3 is one 360 degree aileron roll followed by an opposite 360 degree aileron roll. The pilot has the option to roll in either direction as long as the second roll is in the opposite direction. Figure 4 is a combination of partial rolls. This is a quarter roll followed by an opposite three quarter roll. Point rolls. Figure 1 is a two point roll. Figure 2 is a four point roll. Figure 3 is a 2 of 4, 2 points of a 4 point roll, notated by the 2, X, 4. Figure 4 is a 2 of 8, followed by an opposite 3 of a 4 point roll. Notice that the direction of flight would go from positive or upright to negative. Partial rolls are notated by the fraction. Figure 1 is a 1 quarter roll followed by an opposite three-quarter roll. Figure two is a downline with a three-quarter roll pulling to a cross box or y-axis exit. 
figure 3, is a vertical upline with an upright exit on the X axis. In a crossbox figure, flight along the Y axis is shown with diagonal lines. The center figure, figure 2, can be flown directly into the next figure. The Y axis is non-directional. Figures 2 and 3 could be flown in or out. Snap rolls, or sometimes called flick rolls, are drawn as a triangle crossing the line. The direction of the flight will be with the flag. Half positive snap roll is drawn as a smaller triangle that sits on the line. Figure 3 is a linked 1 and 3 quarter positive snap on a vertical down line. Like linked rolls, snap rolls will have a line joining the triangle. Negative snap rolls are shown as a solid triangle. Negative half snaps are drawn as a solid triangle sitting flush with the line. The direction of the flag will be with the direction of flight. Figure 3 is two linked negative snap rolls. In combining a snap roll and an aileron roll, or a roll and a snap, the direction can be the same for both or the opposite. Figure 1 is a 45 degree upline with a positive snap followed by a same direction two of a four point roll. Note that the flag from the snap roll is on the same side as the arrow of the point roll. Figure 2 is a three quarter positive snap followed by an opposite three of a four point roll. Spins. Spins are shown as right triangles. These also have a little line or a flag which points to the direction of flight. Positive spins are unfilled while negative spins are filled in red or black. More than one turn spins will always be linked and drawn with a line joining the right triangles. This is an example of a two turn negative spin. These are examples of spins that change the box axis. Notice that a one and three quarter spin will take the plane off the flight axis. The first puts the plane on the y axis, while the second takes the plane off the y axis and back to the x axis. Rolls and snaps can be combined with spins, but spins will always come first. When combining a roll or a snap, a brief and perceivable pause is required between the spin and the roll element. No centering criteria for a roll after a spin. This is a symbol for a loop. This is an Immelman, or a half loop with a half roll on exit. Diamond loop. Square loop. A goldfish. This is a Humpty bump. Half Cuban. Reverse half Cuban. Note that the reverse half Cuban begins on the 45 up line, half roll to inverted, and then pulls the 5 eighths loop. This is a symbol for a hammerhead or a stall turn. This is a reverse teardrop. Shark tooth. This is an example of an Arresti sequence. Notice in the lower right hand side, the Arresti catalog numbers are listed. Let's take a look at figure number one. Has a base figure of a 1.1.1 found in the Arresti catalog. The base figure holds a k-factor of 2. The roll element 9.1.3.4. The roll element has a k-factor of 8. The entire figure has a total k-factor of 10. For more information, log on to mini-iac.com or arrestisystem.com.